Alright guys, well, they didn't want to tell me over the phone, so I don't think it's any good news. But today I'll be getting my MRI results of my brain, my spine, and my neck. So we shall see what the big fuss is. I was like reading up on my results, but I was like, there's so many like huge ass words in there. And I was like, mm, nope. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to even try to try to understand what's going on. So I have this appointment today for my MRI results and I'm a little scared. I just wonder what the hell. Like it said like I have plaque. I don't know. Plaque on. I don't know. That's why I was like what is that? It's like what? I know. I brushed my teeth. Like what are you talking about? It's like what? Like no we meant between your shit. All right. So. I'm a little nervous. I'm actually really nervous and um, excited at the same time because I'm all like, am I doing good? Like, am I still in the relapse remission phase? And yeah, so I'm going to pray that it is still relapse remission and there's no new lesions and I'll be fine and I'm just, I'm going to be okay. That's what I got to do today. I already messed up my day. Like, I was like, I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to, you know, take the kids to school early. I'm going to go for a walk and blah, blah, blah. No, it did not happen. I woke up late. The kids didn't get to school to like 8, 12, 8, 14. So, my Monday's already ruined. But I didn't get coffee. But I'm thinking about getting coffee after, so... Let me know. I will let you guys know what the results are. Okay. I'll be back. Scratch that. It is not today. And I should have checked my calendar on my phone because even my phone says tomorrow. What am I doing? Hey, at least I have one more day to like get my shit together, right? You know, let's think positive, guys. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to go get coffee because I already fucked up today. So, that is my anxiety level, like, rising because I, wow, I don't know why. I thought it was today, but I forgot. She said, may the 4th, like, may the 4th be with you kind of thing. Lord, help. Please help. I'm here at Walmart because it is teacher appreciation week and um the kids are dressing up and tomorrow's floral day and i was like what the hell boys cannot wear floral but then hello look at this season floral summer so i got hawaiian a hawaiian theme shirt so don't come for me all right don't come for me I'm currently here at Target. And tell me why Teacher Appreciation Week is a week that we get to know our teachers. It's like, what do you like to eat? So what do you like to do? And it's like they're getting all these interviewed questions. And they're probably like over it. They're like, oh my God, we told you this last year, Elizabeth. It hasn't changed. And I'm like, listen, I don't write these things down, okay? And things change. Taste buds change. You never know. So... I'm on a hunt though about that Starbucks though. Everybody loves that Starbucks. So Andrew has recently started doing that to me. And I think it's a swimming thing in his mouth. So suck it in Andrew. And mama. But he's been giving me raspberries on my stomach. And I think it's stimming in his mouth. <laughs> Don't judge my fat. Don't do it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> again, again, again. Again, again. <laughs> 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 Say ew. <laughs> Say ew. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So I just saw a statement on a social media support group page and the post was like, the question was, um, can I apply for a handicap placker for my child with ASD? And somebody straight up said like, why would you need a handicap placker 
it, or she said, oh, it was for my ASD child with no mobility problems. And the person was like, well, why would you need a handicap placard if the child is not having mobility problems? It's like, do, do you have a child with ASD? Like, do you? Like, have you seen the tantrums? You think I'm going to remember where I parked while he's going through these tantrums? Like, that's going to be the last thing on my mind. My mind's going to be like, I, I need to get him out of here. You know, before, before when I couldn't, you know, learn to fix his meltdowns. It was, my first thought was, I need to get him out of here. And the last thing on my mind is, where the hell did I park, you know? So it's like, do you not understand? Like, I don't know why that just triggered me so much. I was just like, why are people like this? Like, So TikTok made me do it, okay? I got some chicken. I'm going to make some chicken and cream sauce. So let's see how it looks. TikTok made me do it. <laughs> so when they say like chop your onion like this is what I can do this is the best I can do for you guys like no like my MS would not let me I will cut a finger off excuse me I am trying to talk over here why are you hollering thank you anyways so yes yeah, sorry I'm here searing my chicken. I'm gonna tell you about this water jug I bought on Amazon. Tell me why. Like, I've been using this for like today. <laughs> I just started using it like right now. Anyways, so, but I've been like playing with it, right? Like I've been filling it up, leaving it in the fridge. <laughs> but anyways, I've been I've been playing with the top a few times, right? And you would think homegirl would know how to open this shit already. Let's just say, like, this water jug is not MS proof. Like, it's not. Like, it's just like, mmm, girl, you're not gonna get in this water. Look. So, this way. Look, hold on. Look, mira. So, I keep forgetting. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna pop the top. No, you gotta put this thing down. Press this button and pray it opens. And if it don't, like, you just gotta use God's mercy and you know, see what I mean? Look, mm. that might just to open it. So I'm scared. I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm just gonna have to use it. It's a gallon. And I was like, I need to take something with me to go. Like, like, what if somebody tries to kidnap me or take me? It's like, bitch, nobody wants you. Anyways, and I was like, I need to take something, right? And look at this thing. This thing's humongous. I can just knock somebody out with this, you know, if, you know, good God willing, I can lift it and actually, like, throw it at somebody, but. Guys, so, I wanted a little bit more cream here. I think I added too much water and not enough, um, anyways, like I was saying. Uh, so, I think I put it too much water instead of heavy whipping cream, so it kind of got a little watery, but other than that, it smells good and it looks great. I feel like you said I mean it wasn't enough heavy cream. In case y'all are wondering what um gifts was I gonna give um Julie and Andrew's teacher because they're males and tomorrow's flower day and we're supposed to take them flowers. So I decided to make them a bouquet of snacks. See so sorry, excuse my desk. My my desk my, might as well be my desk my table but yeah so we have some sour patch m ms gushers three on one stick pop rocks we have the oreos and sneakers so these are going to my male teachers because flowers it's like no like here let me give you flowers for your wife okay here we go all right you're welcome guys okay, so i'm gonna head to bed I'm gonna head to bed. I'm so tired. And at least my kitchen. And what I mean by, and what I mean by kitchen, I mean stove and there's no dirty dishes. Yeah, because you saw my you saw my table. We never sit at the damn table. We should because she gets messy, you know? Anyways, but as long as that is clean, I'm good. I'm straight. 
uh, let's see how tomorrow goes and I'll show you guys floral day how they're dressed so you can be like oh my god yeah so I'll see you guys later bye